we're out here today on our property video to come and they're digging for wild onions they barely stick up out of the ground and they kind of wilt when the sun shines and uh, you have to kind of dig for the bulb but polly's got quite a few and they taste kind of garlicky but she's got quite a few of them today we found all the corners of our property and we got our fence lines lined out I know this phone ain't gonna do it justice but this is this is the spot where we're talking about putting our house we're gonna cut this tree out right here and if you can see in the distance I'm gonna try to pull in see the mountains that'll be our view that'll be our view our property lines just to the east over here um, just out on that flat and then most of our property lies to the back, to the south and the, and the east. We face the house south. We absorb most of the sun during the winter. And our solar panels will be to this direction. Um, we'll be bringing you some footage. Sorry about the wind. Just thought I'd do a quick update here. We'll be bringing you a full-length video on the whole process. But... Right back over this way is where our driveway is going to come in. We found a good place for the driveway to come in. I'll show it to you. And you guys have to excuse me. I'm pretty excited. I mean, this is what we've wanted for a long time. And now, piece by piece, bit by bit, it's, it's coming to pass. So, this is where our driveway would come in. The GPS coordinates that they had at the county were not correct, but we did find the property pins and doing the math, we know there's five acres to the north of us. We did that math and with the property pins, we found all of our pins. This is a, actually our very first property line here. No, I'm wrong. That up there is our very first property line. See that time was post. Okay, so this is the actually the second lot here. We have four two and a half acre lots but sorry for the camera work it's rough ground so you come in from there and then you would drive around and up this way towards the house so it's actually on the second lot i walk out here to the fence line i'm like a kid at christmas so there's our property lines. This is, I'm standing on the second lot. That's the third lot. And then there's another post on out further. That's actually the fourth lot. I don't know if you can see that metal T post way out there in the distance. It's way out there. But the, they're, they're deeper than they are wide. The lots are, they're a quarter of a mile deep. So, but they are, they're not that wide. But there's, there's four of them, 10 acres. So we just got to get a track hole up here. It's our next step. Uh, collecting funds up to get a track hole in here. We can dig this roadway out. Um, I'm swapping, trading around, doing what needs to be done to, to get these things. I had to really make some good weeks just to get the GPS because we still have to live in the meantime. We have no shortage of firewood. Look at that tree, that old log. You can see that hammer handle up there. It's actually in the tr in the fence line. So our fence line's right there. It kind of runs off at an angle. But this in here is where we're gonna put our house, our little area, and then we're gonna put the horse corral over on the very front, run it down along that side, side there. So, what a view. Man, what a view. Get some of these trees out of the way. We'll be able to see the mountains. This tree's got to go. This tree's got to go. And this tree's got to go. We're actually going to keep this pine tree. May even water it a little bit. Look at that. I already got landscaping. We're going to take these trees out here. A few of these other dead ones. Trim them up. Get them out of the way so we can see a little bit and get our fire hazard or burn hazard out of the way. 
because this country has caught on fire before. <laughs> Let's see those onions you, you've been digging, babe. She's got a pile of them here. These are wild onions, which are really good with mutton. Here we go. Like I said, the, the sprouts dry out fairly quick from the sun, but the bulbs keep growing underground, and you can see how deep, deep they are. So barely any of this green is sticking out of the ground, so you really have to dig to get it out without pulling it loose from the, from there say hi to the folks babe Hello. she don't like being on camera but she sure is beautiful the camera likes her or the man behind the camera likes her now this is going to be our front yard i really love this view we may have top a tree or two just to get the view we want. Maybe I'll have an observation deck where I can drink coffee, but this is gonna be pretty right here. Our neighbor is just to the south of us. He lives just to the south of us. It's gonna be nice. I'm really excited. So folks, this is just a preliminary from, from out here. We don't have really good cell service, so I can't bring it to you live, but I thought I'd drop you this in and then Ann will bring you a full length video of all of our calculating and running around finding corner points so taken stick with us as we go on this journey it's our off-grid homestead we are I'm, I'm just super excited sometimes it just takes my breath away you, you dream about something and you work towards something for so long and then it finally happens there's george digging say say hello george <laughs> camera shot too and there's Anna taking pictures she's our photographer most time she's behind the camera so folks we'll see you down the road <laughs>